My name is Michelle Bryant, owner of Bryant's Tax Logistics and Accounting Services, LLC. I'm up this early Saturday morning. It's not too early. It's like eight something. Um, about to make me some coffee, about to sit on the porch. It is beautiful outside. And I decided, I said, you know what? I'm going to try this coffee from Black Coffee. I brought it at the Vest Fest. I brought a few things at the Vest Fest. And this coffee grounds. Listen. I mean, not grounds, but coffee beans. And I am going to grind it in my grinder. And then I'm going to put it in my Kiri. Okay, so I'm going to... So I'm going to put the beans in my grinder and then I'm going to put it in this thing to put in my curry. I'm going to have some coffee this morning on my beautiful porch because it's beautiful outside. And I'm going to do this before I get my day started. And my day consists of washing clothes, doing taxes, okay? Because as you know, I'm still doing trucker's taxes. That's why I say trucker taxes don't stop, baby. They keep rolling, they keep going. And then... On tomorrow, I'm going to um, Dillard, Georgia to do tax training. So I'll be training on Sunday afternoon. It starts, I think, at 12 or 1 o'clock Sunday afternoon. And it's a three-hour drive. Um, Monday, all day Monday, and half a Tuesday. And then I'll come back. I think it ends about 11 or 12. But I'm so excited because one of the courses they're teaching has to do with those who work in transportation. Yes, I am going to learn more about those who work in transportation. That's why I charge what I charge. I ain't cheap now because I have to pay. And I travel all over the place to make sure that I'm up on the new shit. Alright, so I'm about to make my coffee. Let's see how this... Turned out. This is the first time I'm trying it. Ooh, coffee beans smell so good. Mmm. It smells good. Mm. And this is the trucking company I used to work for, Trailer Bridge, in Jacksonville, Florida. So this is one of my receipts. I worked there five years before I owned, when I received my engineering degree from Savannah State. I found another job a few months later. I was out of there. Instantly doubled my salary. Before leaving there, I was working two jobs, making forty something. Uh, making different amounts of money. I ain't gonna say because then my family trying to add up how much I make now. I ain't telling nobody. But I was making good, you know, good money for for at that moment, doing what I had to do, two or three jobs, okay, and still doing taxes. And when I got the job that I have now, I doubled my salary instantly. I'm so forever grateful. All right, so let's do this. Oh, did I, did I plug up the right thing? I ain't plug up the oh, I plug up the um, toaster. Let me see. I ain't plug up the right thing. All right, coffee grind time. While that's grinding, I'm going to get my curry ready so I can put the um coffee in my curry in this here. So let me get a napkin because I always make a mess. Alright, so I put it in that. Okay, so... This is what it looks like out the grinder. Let me turn it around. It's fresh coffee. See? It smells good too. Mmm. Mmm. Because I remember she said it's from, oh, Guatemala. Joaquin. Mellow, sweet, smooth with winery fruit, acidity, cranberry, um, and chocolate notes. Oh, they're based out of Atlanta, and it was so nice. And I brought a cup. Let me show you the cup I brought from them. 
I brought a cup as well. It was it, now you know if you, people if you know me you know I collect coffee cups. Look, I, that's just some of my coffee cups. I have more in other cabinets, but it, and it's I have um cabinets so I have to use my stepper to put stuff up there, but I'm gonna have to because it's getting a little overcrowded and I I don't. Else. But let me see. Okay, I got this one from, did I buy this from the DR? I, I think I brought this one from the DR. And I brought another coffee cup. Let me see if I can, oh, there you go. I found a coffee cup I brought from there. Black coffee dope, cause I am dope, okay. So, I brought that, and then I brought another cup from the Fest Fest. And, I mean, there were some talented, talented folks out there. I mean, in this booth, she had a husband and her child working with her. But this thing say, hey, Bay, Black and Educate. Educated is what Bay stands for. It's Black and Educated. And I don't brag a lot about things you know i'm very humble and all this stuff but your girl is smart okay i must say i always been smart i always been hood smart okay straight from the streets baby but i know one thing i always did my work nobody had to tell me to do my my homework or anything i would go home first thing i do put on jerry spring or whatever and do my work and turn it off when i need to turn it off so i can study and understand, because I can't read and listen to all kind of stuff. I got to, have to do one thing at a time. But um, I always been smart. I always did my work. So, let's see. It just took me some time to get out of college because I had to scratch them, baby. And I had to work full time. But for the most part, I had to scratch And when that discretion got out of my life, baby, and I, I was able to get myself together and I went back, I graduated at 35 and ain't never looked look back at all. I said, the hell with the discretion. I'd rather be by my damn self than to have all these discretion, baby. Because I'm at peace right now. Been at peace. I did have one discretion. When somebody want to choose me helping their business or, or whatever over love, that means I got to go. I don't need no business partner. You just want me here to help you and your business and make money. I work full time. I run my business. What time? When, when do, I can do but so much. I only can do but so much. I only, I, I'm only one person. You got to do for yourself and help yourself. I can get guide you and tell you what to do, but you got to do it. <sighs> that was a waste of my time. But anyway, so... Let's see. Let's go and see what the day looked like outside on the porch. I'm going to go on the porch. See, I love waiting for the weekends to go on the porch and have my coffee. Now, I rarely have time to go on the porch, but when I do, I go on my porch. All right, let's see. And my flowers are blooming. I have to water them. I haven't watered them yet in a few days because I don't want to overwater them but my flowers are looking good so it's a beautiful day on the porch it's beautiful outside nobody really outside I want to get in the garage my garage and clean it out but I got taxes to do so I have to make a choice do taxes or clean my garage because if I clean my garage first I'm going to have to take me a nap afterwards because that thing will wear me out oh and I brought I finally picked up my painting I brought from the DR I had, um, it, it's an oil painting, and I had to have it, um, I had to have it, um, framed. So they scratched it out and frame it. It looks so beautiful. I still got a plastic, I'm trying to decide in here. So I brought the painting from DR. It was all rolled up. It was, I, it was sitting in my room for, ever since, uh, Memorial Day weekend. Rolled up in the same packaging. I found, I said, let me take this thing down here and get it framed. So let me tell you about that. So I went to go get it framed. 
And then the guy was like, um, he was, I was like, yeah, I want to get my, you know, I want to get, get my, um, picture, you know, frame and whatnot. And he was like, oh, this is what he did. He said, oh, there was a lady that was here before, before you, she just left. And she, she wanted her thing framed, but she didn't want to pay the hundred dollars for the scratching. And that's how he said it. Hundred dollar for the scratching. And mind you, this is my first time getting some friends, so I don't know what the hell he's talking about scratching. So I said, okay, like that. Then you still want to do it? I said, I want to get a friend. Well, you got to get the scratching first. Okay, and okay, like I ain't got no damn money to pay for it. You just gonna sue my broke ass, huh? So then, okay. After we got over that, and I said, and he was just standing there like this. I was like, you mother, you know, I was, I was pleasant. And I said, well, okay, the frame. Then I was at Hobby Lobby. I said, okay, and what about the frame? Oh, you still want to get it done? Yeah, motherfucker, I still want to get it done. The frame. Then he goes, well, what frame do you want? And I point out, picked out three frames. And I put it up against the picture. And I said, okay, I'm going to go with that one. How much is it? Well, let me see. With the 50% off, it's going to be about $200. No, it's going to be $100 something dollars. That's what he said. And then he went. I said, okay. So what's the total? Two, it was two thirty something. It wasn't that much. I said, "Well, you know, I paid two hundred for the picture, right? For 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 just that, right? So I can't be cheap on frame." And shut his ass up. And then I said, "And so, do you also frame the greens?" You know, bring my degree. I got to get another copy. Cause I want to have two degrees. Put one in my office and one in my my office outside the house and my home office here. And then he goes, well, it's going to be 200 So I said, okay, do I pay now or pay later? Shoot, all that bull crap just to get some, get something for him. But it turned out real nice, though. All right, so now I got my coffee ready. So I'm going to put my cream in my Splenda. I know I ain't supposed to be using Splenda, but I still use it every now and then. I, well, they know every now and then I use my damn Splenda. I, I try to mix it up, though. I do Splenda and, and uh, sugar. So I tried to lessen the amount of that I use. So let me use sugar and then sprinkle. So let's see. So I don't know how strong this coffee is. So I'm going to go light on the cream and the sugar. So let's see. Let's see what it tastes like. Good, but we're gonna need some more sugar and some more cream. It has, I don't know what, what it tastes like. It has a great taste to it though. I know what, what it was. I wanted dark coffee and they ran out of dark coffee. And she said this is good as well. So this tastes, it tastes like dark coffee. But it has like a little hint of chocolate I can taste. Good. Hey, I can't taste the cranberry and all that stuff, but it does have a hint of chocolate. I can taste. So I'm gonna go on my porch, and this is my other cup I got from Etsy. What was it? Say? Um, boss lady, cause that's me. You know, people are born, born bosses. They come out the womb as bosses. You can see them in, in them when they little kids. And I know it's because I see, I see hints of in my, my nieces and nephews. You know, it's like, it's something that's in you. You know, either you, you're a leader, you're um, confident, 
you get shit done. Um, you are caring. Uh, you watch out for people. You know, different traits like that you see as a young age. So you already know what type of adult they're going to be, how they're going to care for others and stuff like that. Uh, but that, I, I, I think about my life, and I said, you know, life, I'm going I'm to preach for a second before I go on the porch, and then I'm going to turn off because I'm going to listen to something else, my uh, podcast, while I'm on the porch relaxing for a few minutes before I get work done, get started on this work. I said, <clears throat> I said, you know what, self, ooh, I'm going set my issues showing me. I said, you know what, so I've been a boss. I've been a boss in corporate America. Still a boss in corporate America. In my business, even when I was operating as a hobby, and didn't take it as seriously as I as I should. In life, had, dealing with my mother's sickness and having to navigate you know, the doctors and everything, when they try to get over and I have to step up, lay down the law, bosses do that. When you are a boss, when you're an entrepreneur, a woman entrepreneur, it can be tough at times. You know, you have people that try to walk over you. You have people who want to get over on you. You have corporate people that think they can talk to you in kind of way or um, want to charge you all this and that or make it difficult for you to do this and that. But you got to stay your ground. And sometimes that, staying your ground, they call you, oh, you, she's a bitch. I don't give a damn you call me a bitch. It won't hurt my feelings because I know who I am. Um, the experience I'm having right now, um, open up my new spot, is an uh, eye-awakening experience. It makes me want to buy my own commercial property later on down the line. Um, the landlord, you know, I'm not going to get into none of this stuff and all that stuff, but um, I would just say it's an eye-awakening experience. Um First, it's always good to do something the first time, ask questions, and learn from it, which I am doing. I'm learning. Um, but I can't wait to get it open and and start rolling that money. Um, and there's going to be bumps in the road. If it wasn't for, for my sidekick helping me and motivating me and encouraging me, because he's a business person, he's a businessman, and he knows how things go. And he like, that's how it goes. I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. Okay. I ain't going to be mad. But you you have to find that one person that you can talk to and that can relate, that understands. And I tell him all the time, you're my business mentor because he's been in business for over 30 years. He knows how things go. I'm, I'm still, I consider myself self still fresh because, I, I'm doing things I have never done before. Not fresh at doing taxes and dealing with truckers. I'm doing things I've never done before as far as growth. So I'm still fresh in that aspect. But um, it's good to have a business mentor, someone you can talk to, someone you can call. Um, when you're getting a commercial storefront space, you want to make sure you have an agent that can assist you. Um, you want to make sure you read over all 40 or however many pages you have to read. And you also want to get an attorney to review those same documents. It outline the things that you need to be concerned about or brought to your attention. You know, you're going to pay some money, but hey, it's all, you're going to save money as well. And with your agent, you don't pay the agent, the, the person who the landlord does once you find a place. So I didn't know it was commercial agents at, at all. Um, but um, she has been helping me through a lot of things and, um, you know, working and letting me know about different things and stuff like that. And I appreciate it because it's a learning, like I said, it's a learning experience. So I'm learning a lot of stuff, but I do want to open and, and buy my own commercial property now 
It, it, I never thought about that before. But now, I want to do it. So, stay tuned for that. But I'm going to get to the getting, baby. Um, <clears throat> and when you get in the store from, make sure you got your own trash can. And not getting a screen match with somebody who, who somebody dumped stuff in a trash can. And... The the and and then he think it was you and you ain't even had possession of the property yet. So now I got my own trash can and they say Brian's tax on there. Do not dump, motherfucker. But anywho, you all have a good Saturday. Um, I'm gonna be up here working, washing clothes, packing, getting ready for tax class tomorrow. I'm gonna show you all what's on my agenda for tomorrow. Well, one thing that's on the agenda that I think you all gonna be happy about. Maybe two, but I know for sure one. All right, stay tuned. Have a good day. Bye-bye.